Today we are with Omni Clutch, oh, and we good. are back with a late night studio sesh. Yeah, I'm a wizard. Ooh, uh. Can't step on my pavement. I'm feeling religious. I'm blessing you, bitches. I got it on lock. Fast cars, whipping a foreign down stuff. I feel like the goat, move like a pro. They watching me. All right, what is a childhood experience that has changed your life and made you want to start making music? Just seeing other people perform, by seeing them do it, I'm like, dang, that that's cool type thing. Like, I want to do that too. So every time I heard like a popular song, I would like remix it, make my own version of it type thing. Is there any artist you remember specifically that made you inspired? Growing up, I listened to Alicia Keys, Michael Jackson, Lil Wayne, Drake. So it's like I got like taste like in all different places. Okay. And how did you come up with your name? I ain't gonna lie, I was high one day. You were high? I was high one day. I was <laughs> like, damn. I ain't trying to get called like by my government, man, because it's just like it don't, it don't hit like that. Mm. I probably seen it in a show when I was little because I go by Omni. Mm. So I feel like it came from like Ben 10 or something because, you know, okay. he got that thing on his wrist, Omni yeah. tricks. So something like that. And I just added the clutch to it type thing. OK. And when did you make that name? Shit, probably a couple years ago. A couple years. So you started taking music more serious a couple years ago? No, nah, I really didn't start taking music serious till I left my city for real. Oh, yeah. You, so you left Palm Beach? Yeah, when I left Why'd Palm Beach. Why'd you leave Beach? Palm Beach? I just felt like it was time to go. But like I was too comfortable. Mm, okay. Yeah. And guys, we actually went to high school together. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Park Vista 561. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have never thought we'd be here, right? Tight shit, yeah. Crazy. And um, describe your sound in three words. I would say versatile, authentic, and different. Ooh. And what is a lyric that you've made that is really important to you and say it? I mean, I would just say, throw me with the sharks and show them where, I'll show them where to float. And I really just mean like, you know, throw me in somewhere and I'm gonna show them how to get up. Like shit, I'm gonna show them where to go for real. Mm. I adapt to any situation. Okay. And um, so what is an experience in your life, maybe not childhood that has changed you for the better and doesn't have to involve music. It could be any type of experience. I would just say like um, seeing my people struggle. Mm. I would say seeing them struggle and being able to like help them for real. So I would want to be that guy to help them. So okay. growing up, like I'm the oldest mm. out of like six. Really? So, you know, I got all that on my shoulder. So I'd want to be that guy. So that's your goal is to help your family? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So how do they feel about you making music? They love it. Every time I drive, I just drop the song like last week. Yeah. My little brother called me, he was like, I love your song. I love your song. <laughs> they my biggest fans for real. I feel like they inspire me a lot too because I was at one point where I was just like, I ain't really trying to do music. I'm trying to make money for real. Mm -hmm. Because when you starting out with the music, yeah. you're not making money. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard. But you know, they kept me like focused. Mm -hmm. So how have you navigated through that with become being starting to be an artist and it's hard to make money while being an artist? Just, you know still making money and doing music at the same time and just staying down till I come up. And is there any stigmas that you feel around being an artist that people have? What I mean? Stigma? <laughs> you know what stigma is? Nah. You're on culture stigma. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy because a lot of people actually don't know what that means. And it's really funny because we'll ask that question. They're like, uh, I don't know because they don't really know what stigma I means. Tell you, I don't it's know basically something. like maybe stereotypes people have against musicians or things that aren't necessarily true. Like, like what people, a lot of people would think about that type of person. I was, oh, stigma. Okay. Okay. I stigma. Like, okay. You got any stigmas? I, mean, I think the stigma for real with me is like, it'd be like, girls be thinking, oh, you talk to everybody, you friendly, this and that. It'd be hard to keep up a relationship sometimes because of what I do. Okay. So I feel like I'd be one of them. Mm. Do you think it's hard to balance a relationship while being an artist? If she don't got an open mind, hell yeah. Yeah? If she not open, open minded, if she ain't really like, you know, in the same, I wouldn't say rapping, but if she ain't like outside with it or she ain't really like on the ground with it like that, mm. I feel like it would be harder. Not impossible, but it would be harder. So you'd want a girl that kind of is in the scene too? Kind of, but not too much. Like oh, not too camera. much? So yeah, now you don't it, want a girl it, in the scene? Yeah, too much. <laughs> so you want a normal girl? I would just say if we rock with each other, we rock with each other, we can make it work. We can make it work. Mm -hmm. I don't really try and 
categorize that. So have you had a relationship while being an artist? Yeah. Yeah? And what happened? <laughs> Didn't work? Nah. <laughs> Why? Because of that. Like insecurities. She didn't understand? Insecurities, no communication, mm. stuff like that. Like it, it get really insecure out here. You know what I'm saying? When I go to my shows, yeah. I bring flowers. You know what I'm saying? So I be uh, passing them out to everybody to girls? and shit. Yeah. Cause you're like a lover boy in your, as your image is like All lover that. boy. All that. But don't play with me. Oh. Don't play with me. <laughs> Shit. Lover boy, but don't play with him. Yeah, facts. <laughs> and um, do you think social media has changed the music industry? Yeah, I feel like it's easier to go viral now. Um, real talent is kind of shelved these days because mm. now it's like all you got to do is go on the internet and you do some clown ass shit. Yeah. And there you go. You up. Mm. So, you know, real musicians, I feel like they are going through it right now. Yeah. But, you know, it's what it is. Get out there, my boy. Do it. <laughs> Have you done any like clown things, meme things for your uh, music? I mean, I be on TikTok with it, okay. like sometimes, but not really, no, not not anymore too much. But you know, I used to do like you know the videos and stuff, you know, memes, but not crazy. Okay. Yeah. And when did you realize that music was gonna be your full career? I mean, I probably never realized it. I just. After a while, I just got used to doing it. I was like, you know, I really like it. I like this for real. Uh, the part I really like about it most is the studio, mm -hmm. you know, making stuff. Like I got other songs just nobody's even heard before. That's my favorite part about it, for real, making music. Like I made music before I even popped out as an artist. Yeah. Yeah. So was there a specific moment where you're like, shit, like this is legit? Yeah, when I was on stage and it was just like a bunch of people just lights on just fucking with the kid types yeah yeah you have any groupie experiences a couple but man, ain't nothing crazy <laughs> not too crazy any crazy one you want to explain um uh, <laughs> ain't, like, ain't nothing ah. really happen for real. like it just be like sometimes i might hear like from somebody i know from like where i'm from mm -hmm. they'll be like oh this girl talking about she was with you wasn't go, true nah Never oh, seen so they be lying about you? Yeah, but I was. I'd be like, send me their page, and I'd be like, bro, like, oh. I'm gonna remember that type of thing. You don't forget something like that, bro. Uh -huh. I don't even do Zans and stuff, drugs like that to make yeah. me forget. You feel me? Mm. So, it's also a stigma that artists do drugs. That is a stigma too. Right? They be talking about it in their songs. Mm -hmm. do you, what do you, so? What do you like mainly talk about in your music? I talk about really what come to mind for real. Like, I try to, you know, I don't, I don't talk about nothing I ain't never did. I, I feel like I just can't. Like, I just can't put that out there. Like, I like that image, what I'm actually doing. Mm -hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, right now, I'm in my, you know, make the song for ladies type shit. You feel me? So for right, the ladies? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, right now, I'm on that, you know, that lover boy type shit. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I got other stuff too. But right now, it's really just what I'm doing for real. Okay. And um, when you said, like, people from high school and stuff, like, reached out, like, like how did how do you think they feel like you doing music now? Has anyone said anything? Yeah, but I feel like they're just stuck on the, the high school version of me. Mm, okay. Yeah, when, also, when when I feel like when you grow in life, um, and people don't know like a certain version of you, they they try to stick to the old version, uh, so they can't you know get used to what you're actually doing right now. Yeah. So it'd be hard for people. I don't stress it though. Mm, no stress. Have you lost any friends? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, yeah. From high school, I probably got maybe maybe three or four people I'm still cool with. That's still a lot. I yeah, got like but before one. It was like straight out of high school, maybe maybe two, three. You're lucky. Two years or something like that. I was I, probably like 20 plus. Mm. Started doing music. Started seeing who really support the kid for real. And it was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. So what does your creative process look like when writing a song or freestyling? Oh, um, really just say whatever come to mind. I, I like to create a flow. It might sound crazy at first because I'm not going to say any words. It's because I'm like mumbling probably. Okay. And then once I get that melody, and I, you know, put the words. Do you have any studio snacks that you like? I like gummies. gummies? I, like, I like Welch gummies, the purple one. <laughs> Anything else? A drink? I like... I like sometimes it'd be alcohol, like whatever reposado. 
Okay. Or, Casamigos. Um, yeah, right beside the Casamigos or Don Julio. I've been fucking with the Don Julio lately though, because it's like okay. smoother, like it's mm-hmm. sweet. Just straight? Nah, hell nah. I don't <laughs> know how y'all drink like straight shots. You be drinking straight shots? <sighs> lately I have. Nah. <laughs> Can't Sometimes it. it's all you got And you just gotta do it Yeah nah I be doing the Initial shot I probably do like one two Okay And then I'm, I'm mixing I don't, I don't know about a straight shot mm. And what does a realistic day In your life look like? Get money Us Wake up early And get to that bread Wake up early? Yeah. I feel like rappers Be waking up at like 6pm Nah not me No? I'm up 7am every day 7am? Yeah What time you go to sleep? Shit If I got an event Probably 3am 4am you wake up at seven. I don't get no sleep sometimes for real. Really? Yeah. I'm up. Is there the any hobby? Oh, is you have any hobbies that you do besides music? I like looking at art and shit. <laughs> looking at art and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, museums are cool. Okay. Um, I like going to the beach, but like you know, not when it's like blazing, I'm too okay. black for all that. <laughs> I like I like the sunset. Okay, sunset beach. Any other hobbies? Um painting or like I like painting reading or working out or something like that I like painting or sport I used to I used to do the whole sport thing but not really too much no more give up on the sports yeah didn't make it to the NBA Uh, NFL (laughs) NFL I can't shoot for nothing you didn't make it to the NFL Uh, oh sick and um do you feel that the music industry can be toxic or negative at all yeah it's oh. definitely, I feel like I've had moments where I was just like, man, fuck this. I ain't trying to mm. do this for real. Really? It was just like, you know, it comes down to, you know, you feel like who supports you for real. Mm. Or, you know, you feel like you you should be somewhere when you're not. Mm. And, you know, sometimes you got to keep it real with yourself. And Never when give you, up. When you do that, yeah. But yeah, it's definitely toxic. That's why you got to keep the right people around you. Know to keep you out, you know, your head sometimes. Yeah, and I feel like especially being in the music industry, there's a lot of pressure to like, yeah. oh, like you've been doing it for so long, like why aren't you blowing up yet? Type thing. Yeah, like yeah. people put you in a place where you feel like they feel like you're supposed to be somewhere, but it's on your own time, you know. Hell yeah. And how do you deal with haters? Shit, I ignore the ass. Ignore them? I ignore the hell they Because on internet, internet ain't real. Yeah. But if they in my face, oh yeah, we get active, but <laughs> <laughs> if it's on the internet I ain't even giving that energy Because it's mm. on the internet I feel like the internet's just the internet Yeah so It don't even be real mm. Do you think living in Florida Is beneficial as an artist? Yeah I feel like I feel like you can be an artist Anywhere these days though Because social media That's true All you gotta do is post up somewhere Do something unique You out of the How does it feel being a South Florida artist though? More competition out here Really? You think so? Like, I wouldn't say competition is just more. There's variety. More people making music. Like, everyone's making music. Everybody's doing it. Mm-hmm. So, you just got to, you know, find a way to stand out. Mm-hmm. But I never been one to do too much. So, it's just like, whoever rock with me, going to rock with me. And I'm going to rock mm-hmm. with them. I don't pay attention to who not. So, how do you feel you stand out with all these other artists? The way I come on the stage, I got flowers for all these shorties. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just, that's the way I like to come. He's romantic. Yeah. Are you a hopeless romantic? I wouldn't say, yeah, kind of, but I snap out of it quick. Oh. Like, if I come I come, I come that way at first, but the minute I feel like, okay, nah, I'm looking crazy right now, I snap out of it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> looking crazy? Yeah, like, if I'm doing more than, you know what I'm saying, the energy's not being, like, kind of returned in a way, I got to back up. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Have you ever fell in love with a fan? Nah. Nah? Nah. The Not minute, happening? The minute I peep fan activities, I don't know, it kind of throws me off. Ooh, really? Yeah, because I ain't trying to hear, like, the same thing, like, obsessed, this and that all over again. Nah, I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. Have you ever been in love? Yeah. I was just in love last week. Last week? <laughs> so it's, like, every week? Uh, every week and a half. Yeah. Every week and a half? No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just pulling Every this. week and a half, it's just, <laughs> I'm in love. I feel like it's a lot of heartbreak, though. Yeah, I mean, I snap out of it quick. It makes you write more music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you want your me. legacy to be as an artist? I want to be, I want to be remembered, but 
memory i don't really i ain't tripping too much on it really just trying to help my people for real and not necessarily like family just whoever's by me you know what i mean okay so if you weren't doing music what do you think you'd be doing somewhere smoking weed yeah i'm saying for a career somewhere smoking weed (laughs) getting money so you'd be like owning a weed farm or something Mm, i'd probably just be a businessman just finding ways to just you know get items to people whatever is like i feel get like items to people like popular popular demand items you know okay like amazon fba yeah it could be that airbnb yeah Something. You know, yeah no so you so you never been one to like have a nine to five or have you ever had one yeah i've had a nine to five where'd you work i worked at walmart before and uh, i worked at champs champs yeah okay and so what made you realize like i don't want to have a nine to five just like the whole boss having a boss thing like not being able to not go where you want to go when you want to go so you're like fuck that yeah (laughs) and what is some advice you give to other artists trying to make it keep your head up and keep going don't listen to nothing nobody say just follow what you feel like is right Mm. And um, in in the music industry, it's like really toxic sometimes, and it can make people, make kids especially like influence badly. How do you think you can influence in a positive way? Spread positivity, you know. Um, not try to be negative. Just you know, try to have that positive impact because you know kids are easily influenced, and I, I learned that with my siblings. You know, they watch everything you do. Like, yeah. they learn fast, too. So, you know, just try to be the positive influence. All right. Is there anything that you want to promote? Uh, Shout out Ben Throw Studios. For sure. We, that's where we at right now, rocking it out. And um, I just dropped a song called Stuck. That's on, out on every platform. And I just dropped one in a couple months back. It's called Reposado. That was wow. going crazy, for sure. But yeah. Reposado, oh, yeah. your favorite drink. Hell yeah! Shout out, shout out, played out studios. Gave me this shirt for real. Okay. Called Road Runner. Hell yeah! And shout out, shout out, Vana three hundred five. Hell yeah! Well, thanks so much for coming on, Omni Clutch. Appreciate you. With Culture Stigma. <laughs>